Hey there guys, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at adding taxiways and things like that into Airport Design Editor. And we're going to be touching up on a few little airport features. So sit back and relax, you might learn something. So before we go any further, I just want to point out that currently my mouse cursor is coming up as a set of crosshairs. For some reason, OBS doesn't allow me to record this. It's a little bit annoying, but at the same time, it's what happens. Um, so if I just zoom in, right, my cursor is now literally right inside this box that you can see. Okay, and my cursor is a cross, like I said, it's a set of crosshairs. These crosshairs almost perfectly fill the box. So I am really sorry um, if going forward you don't get to see the cursor. Because, like, if I clicked on the pointer tool, I can see that on the screen. But if I click on the taxiway tool or the apron link tool, any of these tools, really, like, nothing comes up apart from a little line. And uh, that little line's really annoying because, as of right now, like I say, the crosshairs are right in the middle of the box. Oh, look, it just went to cursor. Yeah, right in the middle of the box, but for you, it's slightly up and to the, to the left. So, uh, yeah, there is that, there is that. So looking at Airport Design Editor now, just uh, move around with the middle mouse button, we just click down on that button, we can move around. Just scroll in a little bit, right? So I've got all of my aprons already set up. I've got all of these. And you can see I've connected to the runway here, here, and up here. I need to do this bit here. So let me show you how I did that. I clicked on Asphalt Apron, so I make sure I click on the Apron tool there, Add Aprons. And I clicked on Asphalt, which is inside our little drop down here. We've got concrete, grass, water, cement, blah, 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 blah. I clicked on Asphalt. Just scroll in a little bit. Oh, you can see the crosshairs now. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, if we just scroll in a little bit, we can either click and move or click and drag. I'm going to click and move for now. Reach here, click and move. Okay, I'm not doing anything to be superbly accurate. Shocking, I know. Shocking. Okay, I'm now clicking and dragging, so click and drag. Click and drag. Click and drag, you know the drill. Okay, and just double click when you finish. Now there is our apron all set up there as well. Like I said, you can see these crosshairs, but if I click on taxiway, oh, they disappear. Shame. But yeah, we're not going to click on taxiway, we're going to click on apron path, which is the one next to it here. Click on that, and we're going to zoom in to where the middle of the apron is, which is here, and we're going to draw a line down to there, there, and we're just going to slowly but surely make our way up to the other end of the airport. Okay, so something that I want to point out with um, airport design editor, well, flight sim in general, really. This goes for FS9, FSX, and P3D, all versions. The hold short area here, right, if I was to click on the red dot here, which is hold short, and just tap it in the middle, you see this line around the edge? Click on point as well as you can see. You see this circle around the edge, this line? This indicates the distance limit. So realistically, this circle needs to be touching a runway. Back in the middle, there we go. So realistically, this circle needs to be touching a runway. Simply so the AI aircraft know that the runway starts inside this circle somewhere. So the AI aircraft will stop at the hold short, ask for permission to um, take off, and then taxi onto the runway. If you have these too far back, like so, then the AI aircraft will still stop at the hold short, and they will still ask for permission to take off and they will continue forward. However, 
they will continue forward and they will sit on the runway forever. Because even though the code is saying they are on a runway, the whole short node said they're approaching a runway, this isn't a runway. So there becomes a little bit of a code error between here and here. Okay, so that's the whole short um, mentioned straight away. I didn't want to leave that until last because that can sometimes be slightly annoying. Okay, you see at the top here we have T-A-R-C-M-V. What we want to do next is click on the R, so it's the runway links. And we want to click and drag and just draw a link down the middle of the runway. Okay, if you can't do it in one fell swoop, don't worry. I'm still holding down the mouse button. The only difference is I am now pressing the arrow keys on the keyboard to move along the scenery, just so I can see where I'm going. Okay, and when we're done, just pop it as close to the center as we can, and that line should turn black with blue points at the end. If it turns blue or any other color, really, and there is a surface underneath it, then the runway link has gone too far. So just continue with our apron links here. Yeah, I am really sorry that you can't see the crosshairs, like, uh, I've only just noticed, really, but, um, hopefully OBS fixes that problem. I don't think it's an issue with ADE as such, because ADE seems to work just fine, and, um, my other screen capture software, like the Camtasia software that I use, seems to capture, capture pretty much everything, so I don't think it's anything to do with um, Airport Design Editor. Okay, and as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm connecting everything in a certain way, so like that. I'm not making the points right at the end too small because the lines sometimes don't work otherwise. I'll show you what I mean here. I'm not going like this. You see how messy that line looks? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Now I'm clicking on vehicle, and this allows us to start drawing vehicle links in. We just go into the center here, and this first one actually goes all the way up to here, like that. It's a little bit smaller, so just double click on it. And just tone it down a little bit, so, say 870, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so now I've added, I'm going to go ahead and say most of our taxiways, because I probably missed at least one. Um, we're going to now add some parking spots, just so our airport can be populated by some AI aircraft, and of course you can select more than just the runway to start on. So we're going to start with... It's medium gates, like that, and these two down here are, oh, that's GA medium, isn't it? I mean, medium actual, actual medium gates. Well, they're quite bigger. Let's say small gates in. That's better. One there, and one there. Okay, now we're going to follow around here as well, so it's medium, 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 heavy, heavy, heavy. Heavy, heavy. Medium, 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 and go heavy. Right, so to add parking spots, all you need to do, because uh, I've just realized you can't see that either, all you need to do is click on the add gate tool, which is this guy here. Just click on that, and in this drop down, you can select what kind of gate you add. So we've added our small gates down here, and we've had a, added our medium gates up here. And just around the corners, we're going to add our heavy gates, so click on heavy. Now what pops up again is a crosshair with a circle around it. The circle indicates how wide the gate is, and the crosshair indicates the center point of the gate. Now, don't worry too much, these can overlap. So don't worry too much about that. Now, this gate here is seldom used, so I'm actually not going to put anything in there. All right, to change the orientation of your parking spot, just click on it once. You see this little dot at the top? You can rotate that round. Like that. 
Okay, and once you've added your parking around the areas, you can just go ahead and join them up to the taxiways. So, again, use an apron link. And we've got our vehicle link here. So what I want to do is I want to join it up to there first and then to the main taxiway. So from the parking spot to the vehicle link and then to our taxiway. Okay, just do the same as you go around. Okay, so now there's a few more parking spots at the top here, but that is all I'm going to do for now when it comes to parking. So, what have we done in Airport Design Editor now? Well, we have added an extra apron, just so we can see that in the scenery up here. We have also added our taxiways. Now, there is one more thing left to do, and that's to designate those taxiways. So, if we have a look in our drop-down box here, there's nothing in there right now. Okay, so normally what I would do is I would just type in the name of the airport that I'm looking for and type in aerodrome chart. And for the UK, I would click on the Nats website here. I don't know if it's got anything to do with coronavirus or whatnot, but the Nats web service is actually not working. So if we click on Newcastle and then click on the aerodrome chart like I normally would. So there, yeah, it'll come up and say the requested URL, whatever, um, was not found on this server. So the server for some reason is not working. So I'll have to use something else. Now this is not a tried and tested method unfortunately. Uh, it only works in some places but uh, for the UK especially most of the airports are defined. You'll see it says here D A B A Come down here, D, C, okay. So we can get a rough idea of what the taxiways are. So uh, we need A, B, C, and D. We need F, E, and G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So just click on the little plus box here and type in A. Click again, B. Click again, C. There we have it. They said what we want to do is we want to define those taxiways properly. So this main guy here is taxiway delta. That runs all the way up to the top and connects to the top of the runway. So let's do that. So in order to designate a taxiway in a correct way, just click on it once. Hold down shift and click on the next bit. Right, if you click on the apron, don't worry too much about it. Just hold down shift and click off it, basically. Just click on the apron again, both holding down shift. And it should deselect. Once you have everything selected that you need, click and or hit enter, should I say. And once again, you'll have the multi-edit dialog pop up. And what you want to do is you want to designate the taxi path as taxiway delta. Now I've added these twice for some reason, but still. Oh no, I didn't add them twice, uh, they were already stored in the system, but still. Yeah, that's how you add them and that's how you designate. So taxiway delta, press done, click off, like that. Just hover over one, it says taxi path type, path, width, 15.24 meters, surface, asphalt, length, whatever, heading, whatever, 21 to 22, whatever, designator, delta. Okay, and just want you just want to make sure that those are all correctly done. So designator delta. If we go down here as well, designated delta. Designated delta. It looks like everything's worked out for us, so designated delta, yeah, very good. So that's how you designate the taxiways, that's how you give them their names. Right, so I think we are pretty much done in Airport Design Editor for now. Uh, before we go any further, like compiling the scenery, I want to add some hold shorts in, just so AI aircraft will stop short of the runway and they will take off 
from the runway. So click on the hold short button, which is the red guy here. Remember what I said? Um, these hold shots are too far away from the runway, so just go a little bit closer. Just want to make sure that that ring is touching the runway. There we go. That's our hold shorts added. We're going to go ahead and compile the airport. Click on compile. It's already sent to the same folder anyway, so that's done. Now let's go find our scenery. That's these two we need. Alright, so I've just replaced those. Uh, let us jump into a new castle and make sure everything works. So, Egnata. That's how it's most commonly known these days, Egnata. Make sure it's set to daytime, and fly. Okay folks, as you can see, we are on the ground at Newcastle. Well, I say on the ground, we're about 15 meters above it. But still, this is Newcastle Airport, and what we have done is... We've obviously laid down the runway, we've laid down where all the taxiways are meant to be, and we've also laid down our taxiway paths. This is just a ground polygon that was uh, left in there from the last attempt. We can see our vehicle links as well. Right, these are placed as concrete vehicle links. They really should be asphalt, so you can't see the difference. But this is pretty much our AFCAD sorted. We don't need to do much else when it comes to this. In the next video, I'm going to show you specifically how to lay down ground polygons. Like these guys over here. I'm going to show you specifically how to lay down those ground polygons. We're going to be starting with a base image, so we're going to cover the entirety of this airport in a realistic base image. And we're also going to lay down some ground lines as well. So things like this will become more obvious. And we're going all the way. So in the next video, we have base ground imagery and ground detailing, such as lines and concrete and asphalt, things like that. So stay tuned for the next one. Love you guys muchly. My name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. If you liked that video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. If you didn't like that video, go ahead and hit the dislike button for me. If you want to be super awesome, you can go ahead and hit subscribe and become one of my long-term subscription buddies, whatever the hell that means. And even if you didn't like the video, do the same thing. But um, make sure you click the bell notification, just so you can be notified every time a new video comes out that you may not like. My name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. You have an awesome day. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.